how this is Union Pacific reviews um, in scale. I think it, I don't know what this is actually. It looks like it's in scale, but then it's not because the in scale has metal rails and it's electric. This is powered powered by battery over there. It has wheel slip problems. Oh, it's having wheel slip. And the ES44 here. And it's stopping. It's... I don't know what it's doing, actually. Oh, it's trying to move, but it's not exactly moving. No, it stopped. Okay, hold on. Let me get it. Alright, I put it on the charger. I switched out the uh, BNSF boxcar there. It's really heavy. So I changed it out with the Santa Fe grain car. We have a Santa Fe tanker, a Union Pacific tanker, and another Union Pacific tanker. It's a small little tanker train. The reason why I cannot pull these is this is die cast metal. This is metal. That's me everything here is metal. Even the engine's metal. It's got plastic pieces on it though. It's not like model trains. Just gotta wait for it to charge. So let me pause the video and I'll come back. All right, it's done charging. Let's go ahead and release it. It's still having wheel slip. But it's moving a lot better. Much more faster, too. Looks like it has wheel slip on the switches. Let's see if it doesn't on this switch here. Yeah, I think it's the switches. Let me fix something here. Maybe it's something. I don't think it likes whatever's here. It doesn't have much grip here. Whatever it is. I don't know. It's very odd. Whenever it goes over here, it goes fast, but something it doesn't like there. I don't think it likes the charging station a lot. Hmm. I think I know how to change that, so give me a moment. Apparently it derailed. Um. Oh yeah, the track is split apart. Okay, that's why. It sounds like a generator or something. Well, I was trying to change the track, and it, it derailed. That's the pain of these trains, is they're too top-heavy, and they decide to derail. And it derailed. Well, this is fun. There's such a pain to get on the track, too. Yeah, it's more of a, it's more of a square now, and it's going to be a pain getting, getting those suckers on over there. You're a real pain. So let me go do that. Alright, after countless hours of getting this back on, it took me at least like, I don't know, 20 minutes getting it on because it kept tipping over. It's a royal pain, I'll tell you that much. Uh, let's see. I have a box, yeah, we don't have room for the box car anymore, it's gonna have to go. Mm -hmm. I also widened it. I think I told you all about that. Right now it's on the charging station. I'm gonna cut it again. Sorry about all the cuts I've been doing. I've had a lot of problems with this train. I haven't run this train set in a while. That's why. Maybe it was a mistake adding that boxcar on. I probably shouldn't have done it.
Uh, it's moving. It's moving. It is moving. It's definitely working now. Oh, sorry, I was seeing the floor, my bad. Sorry about the floor there. Oh, it's wheel slipping. Yeah, it's wheel slipping. Oh, it hit the police car. Awesome. Hey, 911, what are you doing? You move your cop car. Drive. That's going to hit the digit tracks, and it's going to almost derail. And that's not what I wanted. Uh, go. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, I think I moved the <laughs> fix it. Man, it's really struggling. Maybe there's a mistake adding that on there. It does not like that, does it? No. It's, I think it's gonna do it again. It's gonna do it again, probably. Yep, it's doing it again. Great. Mmm, that's fun. I had to couple this train car. Alright, I got it off. I got that train car off. Let's rail fan now. Oh, it died. Great. And it ran out of fuel. That's fun. You have to push it back to the yard depot. Great. Alright, let's keep doing this. Oh, I forgot to flip the switch there. Alright.